Obviously, a massively successful actor hasn't produ you know, produced any, produced, produced a movie before, so it really was, the whole thing was just challenging, the, the idea of, of it. Plus, knowing that it's not such a, you know, it's not like necessarily very commercial, I mean, you know, it could be, or it's sort of, you know, it's dark. Um, the whole thing was just felt very risky, and there's something that feels good about, you know, taking chances and, and, and putting yourself out there. Um, the, let's see, what, uh, I'm trying to think. You know, there, there were just, there were just days, you know, where, just days that you look and you think, okay, we, <laughs> how are we gonna, how are we gonna, how are we gonna do this? And, you know, thank God the actors, the, you know, the preparation, level of preparation from these guys was incredible. Because we really weren't gonna be able to afford to stand around and have actors struggle with scenes. They needed to be good, and they needed to be good right away. Um, but yeah, you know, the, 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 like the party scene at the end where he goes to where he goes to fight Vic. It's just a lot of people, you know, lots of lot of lot of lighting, just a lot lot to get done. So that, for example, was a scene that. And we, and we did we did some yeah. rehearsal ahead of time. You know, we, we we rehearsed the scenes with with all the actors whenever they would come into town. We had about a week, and we kind of went through through everything. We rehearsed the scenes with all the guys, all the scenes that the guys did together. We all got together. And, Rehearse those scenes, but a lot of the movie is just was just Lucas and Alan and I, you know, standing out, you know, on the street. A lot. There was a lot of stuff with just us. So. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it was something that you know there were, we always wanted to do sort of a you know a comic book kind of an, an put a comic book kind of an element uh, into, into the film, and uh, you know one uh, at one <laughs> at one point. He actually comes out onto the steps in the script, and he comes out onto the steps, and he, he he pulls open his shirt, and he's got the costume on, and he flies away, right? So we shot it, and we showed it to we showed it to a group of people, and they really hated it a lot. I mean, I don't even think hate was the right word. People were pissed about it. So we we were just trying to figure out a way, and also the fact that it ends as like a graphic novel, it almost kind of. But there are moments in the film where it's kind of like surreal and sort of dreamy. I think it just gave us license. Because that's what we were looking for with the comic book thing, to give us a little license to, to, to stretch things and put things out there. So that, that I think that did it for us. And it was a, and there was a good uh, creative compromise between Adam flying off in his <laughs> superhero costume. Well, and I think that, you know, the idea of him being a, a sort of, I mean, he's not a normal guy, but, you know, a normal guy who uh, uh, sort of, decides to become something greater than himself and so he sort of has superhero you know, makes this has a metamorphosis yeah. and you know changes his body and because so it sort of has those superhero undertones I mean, like a comic right. kind of book undertones to the way that, that it was written um, so I think that's also you know it's kind of relating to that I like two questions on Purchased the uh, Happy Way, purchased the script, and, and again, I, I was just attracted. What attracted me to the script was the unique nature of it, and how it just was different. And it wasn't like you know, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, even as an actor, I read scripts all the time, and a lot of them are you know, you know, guy meets girl, you know, the, she gives she gives them a hard time, and they get together, and you know, they sail off into the sunset, you know. And I we just wanted to do something just different, you know. And I, and again, you know, we get it, we know, okay, this is gonna, this is at that time strange and may put people off and try to keep the audience with the character for as long as you can before the audience completely detaches. So there were challenges w w within it, but for me, the thing that I liked most about it was that I knew that it was a little risky and a little bit, you know, different. Another one on the right. Taxi Driver was mentioned, and I had three, there were three references that I liked. <laughs> Well, that, 
that when he's standing over him, that actually was from Apocalypse. That's like, that's, I stole that right from Apocalypse Now. So I'll be the first one to admit that. Um, but yeah, I mean, and, and again, you know, it's like, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan, like I was saying today, like something great about Char Charles Bronson and, and, you know, Clint Eastwood and these, these movies in the 70s where it was like, <laughs> Charles Bronson walks down the street and throws a camera over his shoulder. The guy grabs it and he shoots him, you know, he kills him. It's like, there's something so cool about Charles Bronson. I just thought he was, he was great. So yeah, those, those, those movies were, you know, Death Wish was something that we, we watched, you know, very early on. You know, it was some, you know, we actually did a, a photo book, like, and when I just think like, that I would show to people that I was meeting with, whether they were production designers or people, I would, you know, show them a book of photos and just things that I collected. And there was a lot of death wish kind of memorabilia in my little collection. Yeah. I took our last question right in the front. Last question? Wow. Um, <laughs> I know, right? Um, I guess in conclusion, um, do you have any funny anecdotes? It sounds like a fun set. And lessons learned, because um, a lot of us are want to be filmmakers. We want to be here next year, too. Well, I mean, uh, the, you know, the, the thing, there's a couple things about it. It's like, you know, film, the, the digital, the HD, I mean, we shot, you know, we were fortunate we shot on 35 and we did this whole thing. But like when I, when I always tell people, particularly actors that are having a tough time, like in, in L.A., you know, people sit around and you know, wait for auditions or this or that to come along. There really is no excuses anymore. The, the technology has come so far that if you really want to make a movie, you go make a movie. And, and it's easy to not do it. And if it were easy, everybody would be doing it. It's hard, it's difficult. And you know, I said, we shot for 27 days and I spent 27 of those days feeling like my career was over. And especially when, you know, like I was sitting there thinking, thinking to myself, my like, God, I'm on, I got a good show going on. <laughs> I'm on hiatus, I should be in Hawaii. Mojitos, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's in the rain in Staten Island with 102 degree fever and this is not, shot is not going right, you know? <laughs> so you really just have to put yourself out there and, and you know, you gotta, you gotta do what the other guy isn't gonna do. You just gotta go do it. You gotta go do it. Just go make the movie, you know? That's, that's, that's the lesson that I learned. It's so easy to quit. And so we, there were many times, especially with Alan and I, like in the, in the early stages of the process where so many times you wanna go, you know what? Forget it, forget it, forget it. But that's that's when you got to step past that and go out and, and make the movie. You know. All right. Well, thank you all, and thank you, Kevin, Lucas, and Alan. Thank you, guys. Thank you very thank much. You.